Hello everyone, this is BRM200 Pinkwright 2.0 organized by the Audex Randoneers Malaysia. Here's the starting point and as you can see the crowd has already gathered. The Pinkwright is a relatively easy route, 200 kilometers. The route starts from Kota Kemuning. We go all the way down to Port Dixon via Banting and Denkil and then back through Morib. We are using an electronic registration system here because uh, pink rides are quite popular. Last year alone, the pink ride attracted over 600 participants. This year it's over 800 and I think the actual turnout was more including ghost riders so a smooth registration system is a must and seems like this system worked quite well so besides registering everyone's just chill and hanging around waiting for the ride to start Pink rides are actually designed to be uh, newcomer friendly and introduce people to the randoneering scene. So, 200 kilometers of relatively flat route, ladies ride for free. Yeah, I can see why it attracts a lot of participation. Here you can see Team NATO in their distinctive yellow jerseys right across the street. Last year they turned out in full force though, so this year not so much. Okay, it's 5am, it's time to go. But because this is a randoneering event, not everyone is in a hurry. After all, 13.5 hours to complete the event is pretty generous. So we're just taking our time to get through the crowds and head on to the main road. And here we are finally off for rail. Roads are also quite brightly lit. It looks dark here but actually it's, it's not that dark compared to a lot of the pitch black rides that I've done previously. Nice wheels there. The pace at the beginning is uh, relatively easy. I'd say 25 to 28 ish kilometers an hour. We quickly reach the first checkpoint. Uh, funny thing is, I think quite a number of people missed this checkpoint because it a little bit out of the way. I don't know what happened to those people. Hopefully, they still completed with some uh, with some good news, I guess. It's also a good thing that uh, me and my group arrived early because with such a huge crowd, it would take a very long time to stamp our way cards and get moving again. As you can see, just going out after stamping uh, you get the idea I think it's the Sepang International Circuit over at the distance sun is coming up soon it's a nice cool morning not that hot yet so it's a good time to speed. Oh look, monkeys! Yeah, you sometimes see them around here. This road connects the small town of Sepang to Lukut. Less traffic here. You pass through a lot of estates and uh, small towns. We finally reach Lukut, but because of the rolling roads, uh, we've dropped a few people, so we're stopping here to regroup. 
Okay, here's the group. Well, them and bunched in with a couple of other groups, I guess. It's still early morning, so not many vehicles. You see a lot of airplanes uh, in the sky. That's early Yi Sing right at the corner there. He's riding with hope. He's riding to raise awareness and raise funds for the Malaysian Lysosomal Diseases Association. Okay, I hope I got that right. Second checkpoint, McDonald's Port Dixon Waterfront. The waterfront is not actually where you'd normally go for a swim. Uh, there are actually nicer beaches further down south, like Pantai Cahaya Negeri and uh, Teluk Kemang. Usually that's where all the hotels and beach resorts are. This place is uh, more like the Port Dixon Town Center. Here's Jason from Union Bike. He's here to offer mechanical support for riders. And I can see the coastline somewhere just off. PD Waterfront. I'm not actually sure what that building is. We're back in Lukut now and the morning sun is already out in full force. That's going to affect our pacing quite a bit. I have to give props to this guy on his foldy with, is it 14 or 16 inch wheels? I've actually seen quite a number of these small bikes, foldies, mini velos, even tandems. No, I'm not sure if I've seen a recumbent on an Audax, right? But it's not the bike, it's the rider that counts. Now I'm riding along the coastline from Bagan Lalang to Tanjong Sepat to Morib. It's relatively flat. Actually, I can say it's very flat. The only problem is headwinds. We're making a quick stop here. This is actually a checkpoint, but we are stopping for drinks as well as a bit of rest. Meow cat. I don't know why I took this shot, but there's Morib Beach on the left, and after Morib we go through Banting Town, and after Banting is Jinjarom, and after that back to quieter and smoother countryside roads, and we are back. This was a pretty fast ride for me, very tiring. We actually targeted. Uh, trying to reach, trying to finish by 1 p.m. That's about 8 hours. But we ended up being 44 minutes off our target. But overall, it's a good time. 8 hours 44 minutes compared to the cutoff time limit of 13.5 hours. I think the biggest obstacle for us was the heat as well as not having enough people in our peloton to share the workload. If we wanted to make this a high-paced training ride, we'd need a bigger group so that we can share the workload a lot better. For most of the ride, it was like I think 3 to 5 of us, which 5 makes a nice team time trial setup, but for 200 kilometers, that's quite taxing actually. Anyway, thanks for watching. Consider liking and subscribing if you like this video. I hear it makes a huge difference in terms of analytics and uh, YouTube algorithm stuff, you know. Anyway, bye.